but this place is not amazing. Look at this, the leaning palm trees, the crystal blue water, the white powdery sand. So you're asking, what are my top three beaches in Koh Samui? It's eight o'clock now in this little sleepy village of Koh Samui, and we have a mission today to explore the best beaches on this island. So we better get going. Koh Samui has some beautiful beaches, some of the best in Thailand. Today, however, I'm gonna give you my top three beaches in Koh Samui, focusing in on the area up here in the north, starting with my favorite sunrise beach and ending at a relaxed, chilled out, secluded spot and taking you to some points in between. We're here. You pass through this five-star resort, the Sala Samui, and right down here we have the Chung Mong Beach. And you see many of the hotel guests are over there having breakfast, but skip that because we're up in the northeast east facing and this is an ideal spot to get your sunrise on. Despite its size and its proximity to other bigger beaches like Cha Wang down towards the south, this is unique. It's protected in its own little bay and out there you get the crystal blue waters that you come to Thailand for. And over there you see the smaller little island Koh Phan Noi and on that island, it's a little getaway from the mainland of Koh Samui. On that island, there are 22 luxury little villas, each with its own swimming pool. And in low tide, you can actually walk out over there. And because we're in Thailand, you know the water is always perfect for an early morning swim. Walking on this sand now, I should point out that the texture is soft clay-like. There's some debris, some early morning debris that's washing up here on the beach, but the resorts here and the little bars and restaurants, they do a really good job of keeping the thing clean and pristine. Although in its natural state, of course there's debris that's washing up on the beach. Now, if you want to stay here, you're going to have to spend a little bit, you're going to have to spend a little bit more because it's mostly resorts that dot the beach here and not your budget accommodations. However, I do recommend getting down here in time for sunrise and spending a few hours here at the Chong Mong Beach. You won't regret it. Part of the whole Koh Samui and Thailand vibe is cruising around to different beaches and we're doing that now. Heading to the next place, so stick with me. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit that thumbs up down below. Uh, had to stop for a smoothie. Just stopped here for a minute because I wanna show you something. This is the famous Coco Tams. And if you know Koh Samui, well, you know we're at Bopat Beach. And right down here is a three kilometer stretch of sandy beach waves. Well, they're coming in softly. Plenty of palm trees to create shade, spots for you to chill out. Right down there in the middle, in the heart of Bopup Beach is Fisherman's Village. Now it's a little quaint tourist spot that used to, of course, be a fisherman's village. Now there are not any fishermen that operate out of here. But every night, it, they close it off to traffic and it becomes a pedestrian area with all these restaurants lining the street and Every few nights, they also have a night market as well that's worth exploring. And if you got a little extra cash to throw down, head to Coco Tam's one night, enjoy some Italian Thai fusion food here on the beach. And every night on the beach, when it's a clear night, and most nights it is, they get a beautiful fire show that goes on. I've seen it before with the beer in hand. It's an amazing little spot. Now we traveled from the east, heading west to get here. We passed Bang Rak, and right after Bang Rak, you get to this beach and time for a swim. Oh yeah, much better. This little beach village has many more budget options than our first beach. If you wanna stay here for a few days or for a week, you could easily base yourself here, and that's what I'm doing in this trip because there are hotels down this way, hotels down that way in Fisherman's Village and on beyond. And here you're centrally located too. You can go off to the east, hit Bang Rak, hit Cha Meng and the famous beaches, or you can head out to the west, which is what we're gonna do after this beach. Is 
is this not tropical or what? We're just off the main ring road of Koh Samui and I wanted to give you an idea of where we're at. We just passed May Nam. It's a kind of a little busy village with the Chinese influence and we entered Ban Tai. And I took a right hand turn at that 7-Eleven back there and we follow signs for the Mimosa Resort just like that guy's doing there. Oh, we've arrived. Look at this. <laughs> this is Bantai Beach. Oh, if this place is not amazing, look at this. The leaning palm trees, the crystal blue water, the white powdery sand. This is Bantai Beach. And I think for me, it's one of those hidden gems of Koh Samui because not too many tourists make it all the way out here. It's about 500 meters off the main ring road. So it's a little bit more difficult to find. We're now at the eastern end. The Mimosa Resort is further down that way, but come on. You could just imagine yourself sprawling out here on the sand, relaxing. The sound of those waves coming in. Oh, this water. You're gonna regret if you don't come to this beach, Bantai, when you're in Koh Samui. There's hardly anyone here. It's a Friday. I just spoke to some guys here. They arrived from Israel. There's a couple down there. There's a girl chilling out here. What's beautiful here on this eastern end is the ocean is flanked by this mangrove back here, coconut trees, both sides nature, nothing else around you. We just entered Bantai Beach from the Mimosa Stars Resort and one of the iconic things you see when you enter through this resort is this leaning palm tree. Here is Koh Samui and yes, here is Koh Samui amazing this sand walking on it it's soft under your feet flower like so fine in texture out that way the gulf of thailand further on you can see the shadowy outline of koh Phangan, the other distant island famous for its full moon parties frankly if you want the resort setting where you can easily order a coffee order a beer then do this the mimosa stars otherwise go completely rugged and wild go down to the eastern end of bantai beach and if you need drinks if you need water before you get down here stop at the big c supermarket out there on the main ring road pick up your essentials and your supplies and get down here to the beach have you heard i'm putting out a regular email newsletter with travel tips and hacks there's a link to join down in the description below this last little place i want to take you to is on the beach in bang po it's a little cafe coffee bar called four monkeys you can stop in here for some afternoon lunch or a sundowner beer and just right out there is, well, hold on a second. And right out here is the Bang Po Beach. And this is in the far northwest corner of Koh Samui. And as you can imagine, it doesn't receive hardly any tourists at all. It's one of Koh Samui's longest beaches, four kilometers long it stretches. And it's nested between out there, the Gulf of Thailand, and back in this way, a tropical, lush rainforest. Ah, uh, this beach, yeah, it's a little bit deserted, which is what you want in a beach, but it still offers lodging and dining possibilities, like Four Monkeys, a place to get your drink on. So you're asking, what are my top three beach? Just interrupt this video for one minute before my boat taxi arrives. I put out this Koh Samui e-guide that you can download, have in your pocket offline when you travel around the island. Everything you need to know, how to get around the island, how to get to and from the island, restaurant recommendations, hotel recommendations, Google links for places you need to visit. You can download the e-guide below. What are my top three beaches in Koh Samui. Number three, it would have to be one of few and it's hard to decide. Bo Put, where there's Fisherman's Village and Koko Tam. Number two, Chao Mong Beach. Get there early before it gets all crowded and check out the beautiful sunrise on the eastern side of Koh Samui. Then head to the west and you know the beach I'm gonna say now. Number one is Ban Tai Beach for me and I think you're gonna find it the same as well with that white soft flower-like sand and the crystal blue waters and a shallow you can wait out there forever. So check out all these beaches, put them on your list when you're here in Koh Samui. Next, click on this video here. I think you're going to enjoy it. Mm -hmm.